BCO2 is a survival factor, not only for AML cells uh, in general, but in particular for AML stem cells. Um, so uh, every developed um, BCO2 inhibitors over the last 15 years, and uh, we had the privilege of being involved from the beginning. Um, these inhibitors um, dissociate anti-apoptotic BCL2 uh, or MCL1, we'll talk about that later, from proapoptotic uh, inducers of apoptosis. Uh, these uh, molecules were con uh, considered untargetable until uh, ten after 10 years of lab work they became viable targets and these a uh, series of compounds was developed termed BH3 mimetics and the best established now is venetoclax. So venetoclax by itself was kind of disappointing in uh, AML. Uh, it was already approved in CLL where it has 80% permission rates uh, not only in uh, garden variety CLL but also in P53 mutant CLL which carry a very bad prognosis. Um, in AML the first monotherapy trial uh, was kind of disappointing uh, but when we combined um, uh, BCL2 inhibition with uh, demethylating agents like the uh, uh, cytobine or 5-azocytidine Vidasa uh, the response rate uh, in elderly patients who have essentially no treatment option because they can't tolerate uh, standard chemotherapy the response rates uh, go up to 80 90 and today we reported 100 percent in a study conducted at md anderson